Hello everyone. Hello, welcome to the special Saturday video. Yes, happy weekend. And it's a freaking weekend. Unfortunately, <sighs> if you could see by the thumbnail and well, unfortunately or fortunately, depending on your opinions, if you saw the thumbnail and the title, today we have a haul instead of the normal what sold Saturday. Which is probably fine because we have had a busy week. I look like a talent heavy in this sweatshirt. <laughs> We've had a busy week this week and are having a busy week and weekend still. I'm sure our sales aren't that good because we're not sharing much. Mm -hmm. I um, have completely melted. Yeah, I guess. As you can tell. You've had one day of work this week. and Yeah, I only have a two week school week this week. So it's... Two weeks of school this week. <sighs> a two day school week. Yes. So once it gets past like five and it's now 5.02, the brain... If you are familiar with bones or no bones from the internet, the brain goes no bones. And I lose my ability to just function as a human being. I apologize. I, sales, mm, they're okay so far. This but week, I'm sure, not great, I'm but sure. But like, yeah, nothing like, like we, noteworthy. So, <laughs> spoiler alert, we're filming this on Monday. Yes. So I'm sure at this point we have driven down, which we couldn't share we were driving. No. Which is a four hour drive. To Ryan's parents. Uh, we had driving. Thanksgiving, which uh, we damn. went to the Iowa bins, which takes time as well. No sharing. So I'm sure our sales this week are not like crazy good. Also, people are focusing on some retail shopping right now because it is the week of Black Friday. Yes, because it's not just one day anymore. No, it's, it's like Wednesday, months. Thursday, Friday, it's Saturday. Already, like, and months. then all the time up until Christmas. <laughs> so anyways, we have a haul for you guys today. If you did not see part one, there were some crazy finds. There was luxury. There was a non-clothing yeah. item that literally blew my mind. Mm -hmm. If you didn't see it, Ooh. it went up on Thursday. Go check that out. Before or after this one, doesn't really matter. But we have part two today, and we're going to jump right into it. Before we jump right into it, though, hit subscribe if you're new and you like to see hauls or other reselling content. And uh. if you like hauls, hit the little thumb to show that you like it. Thank you. And we will jump right into it, and I will let Ryan start this time, because I started last time. Okay. So one of the very first things that I found was this really cute... So the brand is Tula Rosa. Which is a bolo. Yes, it is. It's a it's a Revolve brand. Size medium. So this is going to be kind of hard to show you. Are you sure it's not a skirt? No. No. It's a top. Because, like, well... Well! This is a skirt. I don't know. Um, it might be a wrap skirt. I honestly have no idea. But it looks like that. Oh, yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that. It's not a skirt. It's a really cute skirt. It's a really cute skirt. Yeah. Wee! I thought it was like a tube top for the no. longest time. Anyway, so here she is. You're seeing her the first time I am too. <laughs> Super cute. Um, Tula Rosa is very expensive, new, and it has a lot of cute model pictures. So but I'm really at it. Least it doesn't like sell for a ton of time. It's so like, I'll probably get 30 bucks for, for it. For me, it doesn't, it hasn't sold that well in the past for me. I know some people really like it, but yeah. the Rear Reel does take it, but they market it like nothing. They market it like 50 So dollars. try it yourself. First. Yeah, sell it yourself. Then I found this really cute vintage item. This is a vintage Coldwater Creek 100% leather vest. Very trendy because for some reason, like, these, like, hippie vests are coming back in style. I don't know how it buttons. To be completely honest, I didn't want to, like, break this, like, lace that's on it. And apparently I'll put button impressions on the other side. My bad. That'll probably go away. Yeah, it'll just buff out. Um, but leather vests are, I think they're kind of trendy. I think they're kind of cute. It's a very, like, a Julie vibe from the American Girl dolls. Then I got, well, Jack threw this to me. This little Free People tank top. I feel like I've had this before. Like I said in the voiceover, this is something that, like, even if Ryan can't get a ton for it, I could not sell it for the life of me. Yeah, so I probably I can. Like, we'll find out. Um, it has this geometric, like, front part, and then it has this really cool, like, open back little flowy tanky choppy part this is a size it's small i have also seen the model picture for that i feel like i think everybody has i think it's one of those ones where you google like free people black tank top and that one just pops mm -hmm. up so this is a vintage sweater there's no tag in it um full disclosure i did snatch this so the there was a vintage person behind me and this woman was looking through it and she moved and i went whoop because technically it's nobody's been 
And I got this really cute sweater. I love that it has these really cute little lantern sleeves on it and these adorable so little like 80s shapes. It looks and I love like, the colors. It looks like a lazy elf sweater. It makes me think of like if you were watching a movie from the 80s and someone like accessed the internet to play a game. Like That's it would just be that, but there'd be like a ball like they're bouncing like, up and down. Like, it'd be like 3D you know. kind of. It'd be dial up. Yes. Anyway, I think it's adorable. Next is a torrid piece size two. Really nice, just little gray ribbed, little lettuce hem t-shirt. Super cute. cute. I know. I like the tour basics, and I think the people mm -hmm. of the internet do and as, I said, as this well. And the type of stuff that people like nowadays. Yeah. Like the more, like, plain mm -hmm. stuff. Okay, so first up for me is this, like, bodysuit. But I'm it's sure you guys a, can um, assume... It's a belly spank. Belly Spank. So it's like a panty on the bottom, and then the belly Spank comes in where it holds your stuff in. And it's by Spanx, and I've never tried one of these, but Ryan has sold a handful of them. I've only tried the leggings, but I know that these do good too. Everything by Spanx mm -hmm. does good. It's always expensive. It always yeah. sells for a lot, and it sells quick. Oh, and it has the little... So I learned what these are the other day. It's the little um, loopies that you can connect. So you got like a belly Spank, and then you got like a booby Spank, and you can connect oh. your booby Spank to your belly Spank. Hmm, okay. Well, those are medium. Look at that. Or that is a medium. Then oh we God. have this. There was a bin of like, so if you saw the last haul, there's a bin of like good like mom or like 30, 40 something year old stuff. Mm -hmm. That was where the Banana Republic and the Loft came from and some That's of the J Crew. And this was in there. It is Garnet Hill, size medium. Garnet Hill is usually quite like plain, but it's so expensive. And honestly, it sells like quite good for me. I think because people know that it's so expensive and they're like, I'm going to go find that on eBay. Yeah. I'm not going to pay $200 this for This is like a legging looking one, which will probably do even better. Mm -hmm. I thought at first it was just like a cotton open kind of duster, but I love that it has this kind of like paneled jersey type waterfall front to it. So I it's think really that'll cute. do good. And it seems to not have been worn like almost at all. This was in there too. So this woman did like herself some log and look. Log and look. This I had to Google. I had never heard of it. And I'm, again, I'm sure I'm repeating the voiceover. It is called Vivid. Mm -hmm. And I looked it up and it is an expensive lag and look brand. Size medium. And it's this like slubbed cotton dress, shift dress. I think it's With a these tunic. really cute, or yeah, maybe a tunic. It's probably a tunic. Probably wear like black leggings under it. Mm -hmm. Black With these pants. <laughs> cute embroidered details to it, which I actually really like. I think it's cute. And this is 100% linen. So it's a linen. So if you see Vivid, the comps were quite good. So I obviously can't tell you what it sold for because I still have it. This is expensive. But the comps looked really good. Then the stuff from the thumbnail. This was all owned by the same woman. This was all one bin. So this bin was kind of my like win. My bin your win. win. Your win bin. Bin win. So this is by Education Connection. Get like connected. <laughs> Peruvian Connection. Every time I read that, the Education Connection song, infomercial comes into my head. Uh, Looking forward to I you. love Peruvian Connection, and I never find it. No, and I, I never found find that much anymore. Four pieces from this amazing woman with great taste. God bless. Size medium, and this is just kind of like an open knit, open cardigan. Yeah. Like a shorter length, but it's super nice. And Peruvian Connection is so expensive. It is really pricey. This is Pima cotton. I don't know which what Which I never that really know is. what that means. If you do, please tell me. I don't know. I don't <laughs> and know she something. also had it in blue, in blur. Blurry. We were watching um, H2O, if you're familiar. It's a show about Australian mermaids. And in one of them, there's one, her name's Cleo. And they go, Cleo or Nor, that's word or. Okay. And she wears a lot of blurry. So this is also medium. And it's also okay. Pima cotton. It's the exact same cardigan. But I will list them separately. This is also, spoiler alert, proving connection, size medium. And this, this is, is a dress. Really cute. Yeah, this is, is it long super, sleeve? super, no, no it's sleeveless. sleeveless, super cute print. As you can see there, it's like bread loaves <laughs> or clouds and flowers. flowers. Well, yeah, but mm -hmm. then like, what are these? Bushes? Flowers. That's not a flower. Mm -hmm. Vote below. Bread loaf or cloud. But it, or a flower. Or a bush. For these things. I don't know. <laughs> and this is probably Pima cotton. Pima, Pima. Pima. And this is also Peruvian connection. Also a medium. Cute. And this is oh, a long nice. sleeve dress, and I really love the print on this one too. It's, it's really boutique. pretty colors, and it kind of like pleats or puffs below the waist. And cotton. 
Pima Cotton. And Lycra. Lycra Spandex. Yes. Spandex is the right not a privilege. I found some more things. So first up, okay, well we'll do this just to get this out of the way. This is a sleep number king, or the other one's a king size. Let me see what size this one is. It's a smart bed skirt in the color oatmeal. I'm gonna safely assume, considering they were right next to each other, that they are probably both king sizes. And I do not have um, a stock photo, and I am not gonna be bothered to unwrap this thing because <laughs> I'm never gonna be able to get it back on this size little container. But those were like a hundred a piece and I found two of them and I was like yeah sure why not and then this somebody threw this back and I was like for what thank you the brand is Hannah Anderson size 130 I have no idea what 130 translates to in like children human sizes the size conversion is online but this little sunflower sundress is literally the cutest little thing ever it has like the little shearing up at the top and the little ruffle on the bottom it's so cute then I found this pair of soft surroundings, size medium, little black pull on jeans. I'm gonna see if these fit Janet. I'm gonna see if these fit Janet. She likes soft surroundings. And, oh, is there something here? No, it's the, mater it's the materials tag, shoot. I know she likes soft surroundings, but she is never willing to pay for it because it's very expensive. So we'll see if those fit her. And she needs more black jeans. Janet, if you're watching, stop wearing blue down all the time, it looks weird. <laughs> then I found this t-shirt for the girlies. I was kind of tempted to keep it myself because I like purple tie-dye, but I did not. So it is this Ivory Ella t-shirt. There's the elephant and then on the back, it says Ivoryella, and be weary, they do make fakes of Ivoryella, which is the funniest thing in the whole wide world to me because this is based off of a charity. Yeah. So every time you buy a t-shirt, it go to help save the elephants, and then the knocker offers are just like... <laughs> They're just keeping it all. And the real ones have a little Ivoryella stamp on it with a little, you know, elephant. These are just like a consistent $20, which is not bad. Then Jack threw this to me. This is very coconut girl. This is very the girly. This is very, I don't even know all the other keywords. This is billabong, size large, which I never thought I would ever saw anything billabong. But look at how cute this is. It reminds me of that marine layer I just- I was just gonna say that, yeah. It's this cute little like tropical cropped little, yeah, like little Hawaiian shirt. Then I found this vintage slip. It is not Victoria's Secret, unfortunately. It is Catherine, size large. Super cute, kind of like early 2000s abstract, like rose print with the little rosy thing on the front. And then it does have the little like lacy side slits on it. Super cute. Not to be rude, but when you first held it up, it did look like a hairy chest. Like the print kind of looks like back hair. I'm sorry. It's just like, that's what I saw right away and I couldn't stop thinking it that I was like, back hair. Back hair. <laughs> anyway, so next up, which, would you sell this? Oh, 100%. I might just give this to Ryan because I'd probably just consign it. It's Iviva, it which is kids Lululemon. And this is a size questionable. I don't know what's, oh, size six. It still has the tag in it. I don't sell Iviva myself. I, I consign it. So Ryan can have that. Thank you. Then, I never find this brand, so I was excited to find it at the bins. Yeah. It is cool. <gasps> Ooh! And... You have, like, the sporty family. Yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. These are size 35 men's cool mm -hmm. shorts, and they're, like, athletic-y kind of... Like, going hiking they're shorts. They're, like, Todd shorts, as I call them. My dad yeah. would wear these. Next up for me is the first thing that I found when I was there, and it is a good find. St. John's Sport. Ooh. And I've been thinking, the last couple times we went to thrift stores, I literally have thought to myself, like, why haven't I found St. John's? Okay, but this is like bougie time? though. Yeah, this is actually That's really hysterical. cute. And I will probably actually sell this myself. I love, this is down the sleeve. I love this like drawstring detail. I love that. And it is a size medium. Next up for me, little Brandy Melville tank top. Nice little rainbow stripe little crop top one size fits nobody so it's like a size extra small super cute just basic then i found this fashion nova little yellow crop top i only get fashion nova if it's in the bins and if it's like decent i think this is like a good little holiday top that somebody can wear to like christmas size large then i found so this is a new brand to me and i'm gonna see how it does it's naked wardrobe which I've never heard of before, but it's like a Macy's line. And as you can see, it is literally see-through. Um, but Khloe Kardashian wears them a lot and they're like a hundred bucks a piece, like new. And it is 
Vertigo. So, and that's a medium. So this is new to me. It's a Mia Joy, joyfolly.com. I've never heard of it. But I just thought this dress was super cute. I love that it's like a good little fall color and the model picture is really cute too. So I decided to pick that one up. It's a size medium and it's just this maxi, really pretty yellow polka dot little sleeveless dress with this really pretty little hem. Then, oh, this is fun. I like this. So this is junk food size large and it's a little Monopoly sweatshirt and it says, you have no chance. How uplifting. I love that. Okay, I only have a few things left. This, I honestly don't know what I'm gonna do with. I grabbed it and then kind of forgot that I did. It's American Eagle, that soft and sexy, size extra small, but I mean, like, it's kind of cute, even though it's a cold shoulder. But it's like, you know, little ties. I might take this to, like, Plato's. That's probably where this is gonna end up. Then I got this little American Eagle knit, uh, like, festival tank top. That'll be good during, like, festival season. That one's a small. And then my last thing is this, oh, I almost said St. John. James Purse, Los Angeles. And this is the expensive James Purse Which actually, line. what I've done in the past with my experience, that's pretty good. So. Yeah, so that's why I picked it up. Um, and it's just this really cute little blue, like sundress. It's super cute. It's a James Purr size two, which I think is like a small. Medium. Is it a medium? I think so. And it feels like it's just cotton. Is there, oh, it is lined. Oh, that's nice. I am probably, okay, I can find the material tag. Okay, so I will wrap oh, up my last couple things. This is a scarf that I literally, as always, whenever you see these chevron knit ones, you're like, oh my gosh, is it Miss Sony? Ha ha, it's not gonna be because it never is. And this one wasn't, which is a big <laughs> surprise. Um, but it is actually Talani which is like that kind of boho brand that Anthro has sold before. And I don't know where else it's sold. Maybe like mm -hmm. Francesca's or something. Francesca's. But there is like a following for it. So I'm just going to try it since like, obviously it's scarf season and stuff. Then we have this thing. Oh yeah. This is a Ralph Lauren sleep kind of like, I assume it's a tunic, not a dress. It's like a little sleep dress. But it's yeah. like Sherpa or, or well, it's like fleece. And it's Lorraine Ralph Lauren, it says medium, and it does have the little embroidered logo. So it might do pretty good. Last time I had intimate slash sleep Lorraine Ralph Lauren with a logo. It actually did pretty good. Next up is a pair of Lululemon pants that I I'm glad they're not my size because I'd be tempted to keep them. So I've had these before, selling them, not having them. And they were my size. And I was able to not keep them, thank goodness, because they sold really quick and they sold for like $50. Mm -hmm. So cute. these are like wide slash straight leg, like sweatpants, but they're still Ooh. like the yoga kind of stretchy material. And these things would be so comfortable. There's the logo. And let's see, there's no size, but these are definitely smaller than the other ones I had. And these are probably like a small, I would say. They're cute. They're then my, oh, I have two more. Second to last item is Athleta Extra Small, a slightly older label. And this is just a really nice, like soft ribbed sweater. I just have to like lint roll it and de it just a teeny bit. But honestly, for being a black sweater, it's like not that, that bad. Before. And last, hmm. not any kind of finale, but Still something I like to sell. Levi's, and these are 720 high rise skinny, which is a style that I like to do. Size 30, which is also a pretty good size too. I just need to mm -hmm. lint roll them. And yeah, they're just classic black skinnies. They're cute. Okay. So, oh my gosh. We just, filmed, we just filmed both parts. So I am like- I'm hot. And it's the end of like the work day. Like no. we literally just, Ryan got home I'm from like school go and I got, done with shipping and doing a bunch of stuff. I hope you guys are having a great weekend. I'm sorry if you like What's on Saturday that we did not have on this week, but it will sorry. be back next week. Yes. And we will be back next week with some Iowa thrifting. So that could be hopefully, exciting. Hopefully they prove me wrong and could, we do amazing. It could be exciting yeah, right or it could be really unexciting. Mm -hmm. So we will see you for that mystery on Tuesday. Bye. Goodbye.